American Samoa walau korai, oh balen, oh balah Fiji ye. Where is that location? Honolulu ye, oh anau pe, anau pe bot no. Eri anau pe masih de, the John Lee di tema bot no. Tuo eh ma, tu amu tu mian anau pe kanila de, tu letha pi de anau pe matu anau pe mata dana lupa tu aku tu atet kona sengan isi bi. How are you, Dr. Young? 24 next month. Oh, when I say Lee, you know, Lame Nichai, Lame Lama, when I say Lee, Pshime. So, I said, the love of the people who are living in the world, you know. So, one thing I say about it, so, to our whole area, my city, oh, John Pong, Chow John, you know, to our supervisor, look there, be it all, the Honolulu, APEC, State University, John Lee, my colleague, you know, to our Pinyatin, be it, you know. Ate cipu mak aku di jansa cawang bayar cipit pinyai tak ketu mak aku ten ni dong cipte. Sudo teke yuti siap cipte teke le oh saya ada saya le cipte tu gua cipi dobo no. Sudo acau belok tu gua cing mian mian pih cing le. Now so we like to invite Dr Jong and Sa and why don't you stand up and give him a big hand. Alun alun lekau ti bro ceno cusu ya. Amen amen. Let's give a hand clap offering for Lord this, this afternoon. Come on now, you can do it. So I'm Dr. Jerry Jones, and this is my Samoan wife, Sa Jones. We are here on missionary furlough for several weeks at Tulsa, Oklahoma. We are missionaries at American Samoa and other island nations of the Southwest Pacific. Uh, we celebrate having been permanent missionaries at American Small for three years now after leaving Tulsa, June 30th, 2009. At that time, I had been on staff at the Victor World Missions Training Center for four years. And so Dr. Kamkan Kai and Mary and our paths crossed at that time. I got my doctorate in adult education from Oklahoma State in the year 2004. He got his doctorate in adult education from ORU Two years later, Amen. Amen. Because the two the town Lake Hunit Ma, the OS U N P D O, Chano Ye, the Doctor Boy Go Yak Hai P D O, C I K P N P D O, 2006 Ma, O R U N P D O, Nya Yashik Hai. From 2005 to 2009, I was on staff four years with the Victor World Mission Training Center, and Sal was with me every day as an approved volunteer. Hmm. The Victory Chow Ma So Mission Chow Ma Lin Nit Tai Nai Mo No. I developed a curriculum for VWMTC at that time and also taught World Religions for Victory Bible Institute. I taught World Religions for Victory Bible Institute. I taught World Religions for Victory Bible well, we had done missions also beginning in 2000, a few times in the Philippines, and after that, a few short-term missions to American Samoa, Samoa, and Tonga. Well, we got the calling in 2009 to go to American Samoa and reside there to enhance both secular education and Christian education. And in 2009, I was able to go to Samoa and I was able to go to Samoa and I was able to go to Samoa and I was I had been associated with Samoan churches in the United States and other places for a long time, so the cultural adjustment was not all that great for me, and Sa it was a great cultural bridge. Eddie Samo yau de kai cha do cha no atu di lu piu te yau ni ne huma tua ni bu sura yang ke ke de de. Ta me cha no ya miu te mi atu do tu di ta sura ba ma ke ke ma si bu do do kong na te kua ba de sura cha no ya miu te mi jau huma cha no. 
Four years ago, there were no IVBIs in that part of the world, Southwest Polynesia. Eddie, Polynesia area, my slow she in. Lenny Tain Tain, General VBI, Chow Mushi Bude. To make a long story short, presently we list 10, perhaps 12, depending on how you look at it, 10 at least IVBIs throughout Southwest Polynesia. 10. 10. Oh. Two in America, Samoa, three in Samoa, one in Tonga, two in Australia, one in, in Auckland, New Zealand. And I, did I mention the one in Fiji? And two in Australia. And we're supposed to have one in Vanuatu and another one in the Solomon Islands. Only we haven't heard from those places in a long time. Hmm. Polynesia lo pyo dai kha ma di yo ba le Australia do New Zealand do Fiji do edi ta white di ma shi de area go Polynesia lo kho de edi di ta ma slow shi in chan sa chang a khu di New Zealand do Australia do ma le chan sa chang ni shi la de Fiji nai ngai ma le chan sa chang ni shi la de We live in the very remote area and it's very expensive and time consuming to travel and visit the other island nations of the southwest pacific Oh ကျွန်တော်တို့နေတဲ့နေရာကအမတာမအိုခေါင်းတဲ့နေရာပေါ့เนาะနောက်ပြီးတော့ခရီးသွားလာတဲ့နေရာမှာကျတော့အရာပြ
good beginning, beginning tomorrow morning with this Victory Burmese Bible Institute. Let's give a hand clap for that. Amen. Me and him was having a good time sitting down there looking at the overall curriculum and exchanging points of view. So, learning the Word of God is empowering. If you want to be an empowered church that is able to respond to the challenges of the beginning of the end times, you must be a learning congregation full of lifelong learners, both of secular knowledge and of spiritual knowledge. So this is divine happening that is taking place now. Do not take it lightly. Make the most of it that you can for yourself individually, for your church, for your people group, for your home country nation of Myanmar. Now we're here probably through the end of July. I'm waiting to schedule hand surgery to correct this trembling and pinched nerve in my hand. But while I'm here, I enjoy seeing all of you from time to time and getting the important personal business uh, accomplished. So we can return not too long from now to where we're supposed to be, back to America small, and resume the good work that the Lord is leading us to perform for the past three years. Mm. So in closing my testimony, let's agree we're going to become lifelong learners, both of the Word of God and of secular knowledge. Secondly, let's agree that the Southeast Bible College in Myanmar will continue to function and impact individual lives, the community, the church, and the nation of Myanmar. The Victory Burmese Bible Institute will get off to a good start beginning tomorrow, soon and very soon. And next, that all these stakeholders in, in educating our precious young children, the teachers, the parents, the business people, the school administrators, and so on, will all actively be involved in the educational training of our precious young children while keeping God in the home, the school, the church, the public places, and also recognizing that the parents will maintain their primary responsibility for providing spiritual training for their children. And then a special word for our older senior citizens. Wise, we need them to share with the younger people their valuable life experience and wisdom. Don't give up learning. Amen. Don't forget how to learn. Amen. I think I stand before you as a fair example of a lifelong learner. I have five college degrees. I like going to school. But I try to have a humble learner's attitude at the same time. Sometimes I learn from my students. Oh. I believe it is life sustaining and enriching for us older people to continue to learn. Older senior citizens, it's not time to retire, it's time to refire. Amen. Amen. We need you to be worthy role models and mentors for younger people. 
So pass on your wisdom and life experiences to the younger generations. Be a learning congregation full of lifelong learners from young to old. Okay, that concludes my testimony. Thank you for the opportunity from Dr. Kam Khan Kai and Marion from all of you. Go ahead, Dr. Chan. Oh.